Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is which of the following proteins would be least affected by the introduction of the Mercaptor ethanol? And here is the variants of the answers. First of all, I want you to show you this picture and out of 20 amino acids, we have two amino acids, which is cysteine and mesionine with sulfur. So many of you probably wonder which of these two makes the sulfide bridges because both of them contain sulfur, but only one of them, which is cysteine, contains reactive group, which is zeol here, which is also just like alcohol group here, tend to lose this hydrogen. And you probably would see on many different pictures that sometimes hydrogen here is shown, sometimes not because it is reactive group. And this zeol group is also reactive. But if you compare with mesionin, which also contains sulfur, it actually has two covalent bonds, two carbons. So it is stable. And this carbon, actually, this is methyl group, is also stable, having three covalent bonds to hydrogen and one to sulfur. So it's actually this R group is stable and doesn't form the sulfide bridges but cysteine form the sulfide bridges because this group is reactive. Now let's take a look at this picture. You can see here primary structure, secondary structure of the protein, tertiary structure and quaternary structure. Primary structure is basically just a sequence of the amino acids and that's it. Secondary structure is formed by hydrogen interactions, hydrophobic and hydrophilic interactions. And if you also would take a look at this picture, you would see that at the tertiary level, we would have more interactions. For example, we would see here ionic bounds when some R group of the amino acid would be positively charged and some would be negatively charged. So they would form ionic bonds. So stabilizing protein structure and shape. Also, we can find here R groups. In this example, it is valine, which R group is hydrophobic. And just imagine what would happen with two drops of oil in a cup of water. They would join. So this interaction also uh, would join these two residues, which can be very far away from each other. The, but they would tend to uh, find each other because they are both hydrophobic. And also we will find here hydrogen bonds and the sulfide bridges when two cysteine, which also can be very far away from each other, would form a disulfide bridge. So what is the mode of action of the Mercapt ethanol? It basically breaks this disulfide bridge disrupting the structure of the protein. We also call this denaturing protein. Why we are, would be interested in such interaction? Imagine that here is one polypeptide chain and here is a, another one. And these two polypeptide chain connected by the sulfide bridges and we need to sequence this protein. And we can do it only if we separate each polypeptide chain. So we have to break this disulfide bridges and then we are going to have one polypeptide chain and another one. So later we can, for example, using gel electrophoresis can separate these two polypeptides according to the size, according to the charge. And then we would be able to sequence each polypeptide chain. The sulfide bridges not only can happen between two polypeptide chains, which we can find in quaternary structure, but also can be found within the same uh, polypeptide. For example, here is one cysteine, here is another one, and we see a bridge here. Some people may also wonder, you see here we have two cysteines next to each other. Can polypeptide chain be formed? without peptide bond between two adjacent cysteines. And two cysteines in this case would be 
connected through the sulfide bridge. Actually, not. We can find only uh, the sulfide bridge only if we will have at least four amino acids between two cysteins. And if two cysteins would be next to each other, they're not going to be connected through the sulfide bridge and would be connected only through peptide bonding. I hope you recognize this protein. This is one of the simplest proteins, which is insulin. So now we can choose our answer. Let's check and let's read our question again. Which of the following proteins would be least affected? So let me underline least affected by the introduction of Mercaptor ethanol. And this is going to be answer C, a protein that has no cysteine amino acid residues. If our protein is not going to have cysteine amino acid residues, that means that there are not going to be disulfide bridges formed and our polypeptide chain, which doesn't have this amino acid, is not going to be affected by Mercaptor ethanol. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.